Okay, this sermon is entitled, Haters of Free Grace Theology Are Going to Hell. I'd like to open up with prayer, and then with a few verses. All right, dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners, I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 150 reads, Praise you the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Now turn over to Romans chapter 3. There are a group of people out there that claim they're Christians who assert that free grace theology is a false gospel or they they just hate free grace or they're anti-free gracers and these people are on their way to hell right now. And I don't care what anyone says. I don't care if you say that certain people like this may just be mixed up or they used to believe correctly. They used to believe in faith alone. It's garbage. They don't believe in faith alone. They don't believe salvation by grace. They're on their way to hell and the reason why is because they reject the only way to be saved. Romans 3.24 reads, it says, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. The reason why people hate this is because they've never been saved by grace. They reject grace because they, ha- they have no grace. And these people believe another gospel. Turn over to Galatians chapter 1. Galatians chapter 1. There's only one way to be saved. And it's through the grace of God. It says in verse 6, I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. Now, Paul is making a distinction here. He's saying that there's the grace of Christ. You know, Jesus died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and rose again. You trust him alone and you're saved by grace. Or there's another gospel. See, these stupid idiots out there that claim that they hate free grace. We're anti-grace. We're anti-free grace theology. You're going to hell because you believe in a cursed gospel. You believe another gospel. Okay, look at verse 8 and 9. It says, But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you, this repent of your sins, this lordship crap, this, you know, obey Christ, you have to live a good life, you have to stop sinning, you have to be obedient, you have a changed life, garbage. It's another gospel. You're going to hell believing it. You're accursed. If we preach any other gospel unto you than that which ye have preached unto you, let him be accursed. And he's repeating the point in verse 9. Okay? He's making a reiteration. You're accursed. You're going to hell. You're, you're a false Christian. You're a false convert. And anybody who says they hate free grace is on their way to hell right now. Period. And that's the way it is. Because there's only one way to be saved... It's by grace, through faith alone, in Christ alone. And if you're trying any other way, you're a false prophet, a false Christian. You're, you're hell-bound. You're accursed. So watch out for these stupid devils out there that say, I hate free grace. We're not free grace. We're anti-free grace. No, you're on your way to hell is what you are. Period. You stupid hell-bound bastards out there. You have no business calling yourself Christians. You have no business preaching because you're accursed. You're damned. That's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.